on Candid with yeah. Anitan Bariola, author of The Gray, a relationship etiquette study. So check us out in a couple minutes. Couple minutes, yeah. check it out. We'll Hello, be there. Beautifuls. But I kind of try to put every scenario that you the one to go through in order to ease themselves into the gray area. Okay, so tell me one of those scenarios. Like, what is a gray scenario within a relationship context? Uh, say someone is married, right? They marry young, they marry their high school. Relationship goals, hashtag relationship goals. You know, we're on vacation, we're right, here and right, there, right, but right. I'm not really getting to the nitty gritty of that. So, what do you think are some ways that men and women can kind of bridge that gap? Read the gray. No, really, <laughs> I, I think it's really about um, shy in relationships. The reason why you're timid in front of uh, women, in front of like black women. The reason why you may just it's it's about looking at how you operate and trying to figure out the why behind it. How did you reach that goal? Because a lot of times of disconnections, technology. You know, I'm oh, sure whenever people God. are talking to you about relationships, they're always like, well, technology is there. Do mm -hmm. you, how much do you think technology has aided relationships in dating? Right. How much do you think it's hindered it? It's like a gun where, it's not the gun that is there, but it's, it's, it's knowing that that's contentment. It's knowing that you're going to deal with BS. It's knowing that you're going to have very difficult times, like on the brink of like, breakup, divorce, things that people, people are quick to divorce today, right? Mm -hmm. But there, there are times where Another couple of us are so, of course they had bad times. All you hear is they were married 60-something years. Yeah. Well, how were those years? Like, they overcame challenges. They, they, they fought through whatever they fought through. They stuck together. That's what it really looks like. It doesn't just look like the photo of the text message sent, like, yo, you look really good on the way out. I can't wait to you get home. I'm going to have something special for you. Oh, that's a good one. It's you really kind of... Recently, didn't you? No. You never nah. sent that to your wife? You know, I'm private. <laughs> you know? But no, I think it's, I think it's important to kind of, like... Date, you see me I literally look at my wife and I'll take myself back to when I first saw her mm. and I was just staring at her. And I was like, what is that? And how in the world can I be connected to that, right? And I'm like, see, that's the same woman. Like you go every day, day to day. I think the takeaway with the gray is that no, it's just, there's a lot of takeaways. Yeah. <laughs> For sure you're not alone. You know, there's again, there's what's presented, there's um what you see that may not necessarily be true. I'll play along with you. Okay. Sex on the first date. What do you think? <laughs> I would be in all this. You know, we're being all this. I've been to the same time. A month. You're right. I think it's yeah. kind of great. I mean, because sometimes it can be a little too fast. Some yeah. people in cultures, if you introduce someone, that means you're married. You're but right. You're right. It just depends. Like, I wouldn't mind doing that because I'm old school in the way of, I want my Next one. Uh, Posting photos early on in a relationship. Uh, okay. You see how much stuff is gray area? I know. That's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with that. We're with that. For sure. Um, what about this? Using a Groupon on a first date. Oh, man. Oh, oh it's so bad because there's the me that wants to speak, but I speak for others as well. All Wait, right. I want you quit it. No, on the first date, but, but let me now let me speak. That's just me. Now let me speak for like the real the real situation. Like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> some people out here just they need to go down the aisles of Costco and they'll you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Sometimes seeing a man be a little thrifty, it's like, hey, our kids gonna be.